play everything now what is going on ladies and gentlemen today is going to be a quick show we're just going to go over the games that are coming out on the playstation vr2 that will be available at launch and also those that are available for pre-order now i'm going to just let you know the ones that i'm looking forward to so we're not going to go ahead and look at any trailers on these because we're going to get slapped with copyrights because of the music and so forth but um let's start with right here first and foremost we have horizon vr call of the mountain so we're going to go ahead and just look at pictures um this game is going to be one of the flagship vr games in my opinion because it is a sony first party title so Sony's gonna put their whole foot in it, their whole hand in it, their whole body in the pot to make sure that this game definitely lives up to expectations. And it's Horizon. I mean, we expect the best, right? So another game that I am looking forward to is Resident Evil in VR right here. Now, if you've played Resident Evil, Village, then you know that this game is a high quality game. And if you played Resident Evil 7 on the PSVR, you know that this game is just oozes style and greatness and tension in VR, at least in 7. And I expect no less than greatness for Resident Evil Village in VR. So that's two titles that I'm excited for so far. Up next, we have Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. Now, this game comes out also at le at uh at re on release day, but um, I'm not really big on it. Um, we'll see what it does, but it's not one of the games that are on my radar. So, but to let you know that is an option for you. Now, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter Two Retribution is definitely on my radar. Um, the Walking Dead VR game prior to this was a good start. It was a high-rated VR game, so this is new on uh, a better technology, better control, better accuracy, and so forth. So I expect nothing but greatness from this. Um, I mean, what more? You have zombies, guns, dealing with night, getting out of dodge before the sun goes down and so forth and survival so like this game this is up to them to ruin it but I don't see that game being ruined man they have too much material to work with in a prior game that was good so moving on to Firewall Ultra this is a game that I did not get to play their original Firewall on the PSVR but this is just going to be a better version of the game so I expect good things from this. I've heard good things about this game, but I'm definitely going to pick this up. I'm not going to go ahead and pick up the other firewall because, you know, this is coming out. So there's no reason for me to do that. But I may. If you want me to, if you want to see footage from it, of me playing it, then we could do that. Now, this game is doesn't have a release date, just coming soon. So you're going to have to wait on that, guys, if Rainbow Six Style is your cup of tea. Um, Light Brigade, I know this is like a role-playing game. I believe that it comes out at launch. Yes, it does. The Light Brigade, tactical, road-like shooter, realistic, gunplay, and immersive light magic. So we're dealing with firearms and magic. I don't know if you can go wrong with firearms and magic, but we'll see if they can execute this game. I like the cel-shaded, cartoony style that allows for you know some decent graphics and so forth and they can play around a little bit more with it um they're showing you that there's a little blood in the game right there so either way this is rogue if you like rogue type games this is something that should be on your radar and i'm definitely going to pick it up as well because like i say we're bringing you everything on this channel zenith the last city not really looking forward to this not on my radar, but this does come out at launch. I don't even know what this is about. Um, looks like a some sort of Zelda type magic setting, it looks like. Um, melee combat, it looks like, but I don't like the art direction. I think it looks cheesy already. So that's definitely something we are going to pass. So, so far, we're doing all right here with game wise as far as quality games. These right here look like they're just fillers. Um, 
don't know what this is about. Something for the kids, so I'm not gonna knock it too much, but um, something that we're gonna pass on. We're not gonna worry about that. Consuming is hot, not high. We're not messing with that. Cities VR for those that like to build cities and manage a real city. Here you go. This is your opportunity to do so in Wondrous VR. This releases on release day. So you want to build a city if that's your thing, then uh, this is it for you. Now I might dabble around with that in my spare time, mess around and you know work the brain and and manage something and you know see my management skills and government and so forth but I may be mayor someday you know uh, moving on the mayo um, the mio adventures is time to unite this also on release day this is a game that's already been out on the older VRs I think this is a card based type game um, it looks like it. it looks like it's a mm -hmm, pick a card and you move and like Dungeons and Dragons maybe type of thing so if you're into this and that's your style then this may be a game that is right up your alley I am not feeling the graphics on this game so that is something that I'm going to pass on now everything is not about graphics but we can be honest with ourselves we can look at that and just, you know hmm. tentacular that is also on release day don't say what it's about really would it be nice if they did right here everything's in the water yeah. trash bins uh, good morning to you you know that trash okay here we have hello neighbor this one actually interests me search and rescue comes out on release day as well we can go ahead and look at some pictures I'm interested in this one multiple playable characters hello neighbor search and rescue is a groundbreaking VR horror puzzle game where you sneak into your creepy neighbor's house to save your friend that sounds very interesting you know because some we live around people and Honestly, in real life, we really don't know what they're up to in their house. You know, all kinds of nonsense could be going on, you know. So, definitely looking forward to that. This is a horror game. And I like horror movies, so this may be right up your alley if you do. I know it is mine, so I definitely will be checking Hello Neighbor out. Now, moving on to Dark Pictures Switchback. This is definitely coming out at launch because if you remember Rush of Blood... That was a roller coaster shooter, and it was a good one at that. So I expect nothing less than a good game from this company. I think this is going to be fantastic and a fun game as well. So looking forward to that. Let's shout out to Little Hope if you played their little uh, horror games. Be sure to check out their games as well. I expect this game to be good. This is a day one purchase for me as well. Jurassic World Aftermath that has just been announced coming soon nothing on that do we have any media we don't have any media any pictures nothing okay we're dealing with the Jurassic Park and dinosaurs and it should be interesting so we're looking forward to that and Crossfire Sierra Squad drop into the world of Crossfire and VR feel the impact of this arcade shooter do we have any media? no we just have a video but I'm not going to play it because we do not want to get a copyright strike so you're in the middle of an elite fire team in the middle of war over a top secret biochemical weapon that has recently been discovered when you drop into action you experience all the high quality characters mass movement okay 39 types of weapons okay First person shooter, one player, four players network. Interesting. Anything dealing with FPS shooters, you know, gets me going. But anyway, games that I'm looking forward to that I'll be picking up is, of course, Horizon, Resident Evil. I th hope that's a free upgrade. If not, we'll buy it and support them. Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. That's one month after launch. And the dark picture switchback and hello neighbor so these are the games that I'm looking for forward to rather so you let me know in the comments which ones you want to see first on the channel as far as gameplay and I will oblige you 
So be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell so we can keep turning out these VR videos for you. You know, it takes a lot of work and setting everything up and doing it and so forth. So show me the love, show me the support, and I will continue to bring you the best footage that I can. So improve as well. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.